Welcome back. Let's do another quick review. A rectangle has four sides and four corners. When building rectangles, we start with one X on the right side and the rest on top. If that doesn't work, we try two X's on the side. If that doesn't work, we try three, then four, and so forth, until the units fit in the corner. Factoring is building a rectangle. The factors are the over distance and up distance of the rectangle. A rectangle can be described by its area or by the distance of two edges, an over edge and an up edge. Now let's look at multiplication. Multiplication is counting a number a number of times. Building rectangles helps us do this. Since multiplication is counting, let's count some x's. Let's count x three times. x over, three up. The over arrow identifies the number we are counting. The up arrow tells how many times the number is being counted. Let's count x four times x over, four up. How many is that? Four x. Let's count x five times. x over, five up. What do we have? Five x. How many times can we count x? We can count x's forever. Another word for forever is infinite. We can count x an infinite number of times. X counted once, X counted twice, X counted three times are all multiples of X. A multiple of X is a bunch of X's. This is a bunch of X's. This is a multiple of X. This is two X. This is a bunch of X's. This is a multiple of X. This is three X. This is a bunch of X's. This is a multiple of X. 4x. We can show all the infinite multiples of x. Can you see we can count x once by slicing it off? x over, 1 up. Can you imagine x counted twice by slicing off 2x's? x over, 2 up. How many is that? 2x, a multiple of x. X counted three times, three X, a multiple of X. When we wanted to count X two times, how far up did we move the slider? Right, two units up. When we wanted to count X three times, how far up did we move the slider? Right, three units up. What if we want to count X, X times? How far up would we move the slider? Right, we would move the slider up x. So x over, counted x up times, gives us what? An x square. x over, x up, equals x square. This is x counted x number of times, a multiple of x. Now I want to count x plus twos but I'm not sure how many x plus twos I want to count, and besides, it is very tedious to keep getting out these little blocks. With a little imagination, how could we count any number of x plus twos? By building a bunch of x plus twos and using a slider, we can show and slice off any number of x plus twos. Counted and sliced once. Counted and sliced twice. x plus two twice a multiple of x plus 2. Counted and sliced three times gives us how many? x plus 2 three times, or 3x plus 6, a multiple of x plus 2. Now how would we count x plus 2 x times? By sliding that slider up x. And we can see what that will give us. We would write this as x plus 2 x or we could write this as x plus 2 over x up. We now have 1x squared and 2x's, or x plus 2 over x up x squared plus 2x.